The question that's been posed today is, what is the value of diversity in intelligence teams? And what can Intel practitioners do to promote diversity in their team, i.e. not the manager or the hiring professional, but the colleague in a team or the colleagues in a team? What can they do to promote diversity? And I, I think that's a really great question. I particularly like the second part of it. But I want to make an observation on this question. How come nobody ever asks what is the value of uniformity in intelligence teams? This question never gets asked. Why is that? And I think we know the answer. It's because uniformity is the default. It's the water that the fish are swimming in. So the fish don't even know what water is. I think it speaks to the problem of the lack of diversity in most intelligence organizations. So I will tell you what is a value of uniformity in intelligence teams, and that value is efficiency. Organizations value smooth operation and efficiency uh, above almost any other value except if you're a business making profit, right? And uh, when everyone thinks the same, you are more efficient than therefore, I guess, you reduce costs. The problem with that approach is that the world itself is not uniform and not efficient. So if you're an intelligence organization, you're going to find that things are messy and random out there in the world. And having a uniform set of thinkers doesn't really prepare you very well for that random, messy world. So that gets you to value proposition number one is that when you have a diversity, either of inherited diversity, what we typically think of ethnic, gender, or of acquired diversity, which is all these different ways we think our diversity of thought, our cognitive diversity that stems from our education, our backgrounds, our life experiences that when you have more of that kind of different thinking in a group, you sort of have a broader range of understanding of the world as it's emerging in front of you. Uh, a broader, more complete ability to recognize the changes that are going on in the world. So that's one reason why diversity is important in intelligence teams, because it more accurately, or at least more completely reflects the reality that you're dealing with. Um, I've studied a lot of uh, work on diversity, read several books. Uh, it makes that sound slightly pretentious, so I apologize for that right now. And um, the research on it is compelling, and there's more of it every day because Part of the reason why there hasn't been a lot of great uh, statistical material proof on the value of diversity in teams is that there haven't been that many diverse teams to work with. But in the last 10 years, I, I would say there's been an explosion of it. And uh, the literature shows, the research shows that diversity leads to better outcomes. For example, in profit, when you're a company, Companies with diverse leadership teams, either gender-wise or ethnic-wise, or better both, have uh, stand a better chance of getting more profit in the marketplace than non-diverse teams. There's, there was a study published a few years ago in the Proceedings for the National Academies of Sciences in the U.S. that talked about how diverse financial teams better navigated the financial crisis of 2008 than homogeneous teams. Uh, one of the interesting parts of the better outcome uh, story is that diversity of thinking in a team leads to uh, better outcomes even than the smartest person on that team alone could achieve. So let me say that better. It's very tempting when you have a difficult problem to hand it over to the smartest person in the room and say, hey, you're the Pakistani expert, you give us the answer. But the research shows that in general, a diverse team working with that smart person 
will generate a better results than that smart person working on their own. And the most famous example of this, I believe, is the Netflix example when many years ago Netflix had a tournament going on for anyone who could improve the algorithm by which they recommended films to you by a certain percentage. And I think the prize was a million dollars and there were lots of teams all around the world, but they had to, competing for it, but they had to improve it by whatever that amount was. And none of the teams, even the top ranked team, had met the standard for winning the $1 million. What happened next is several of the top ranked teams decided to collaborate together. And by collaborating together, they were able to improve the algorithm enough to win the $1 million prize. So the best team alone couldn't do it. The smartest team alone couldn't do it, but in combination, they were able to do it. Another one of my uh, favorite values of diversity or, or kind of wrinkle as to how diversity works is that teams that allow for vibrant dissension, dissent, and uh, even uh, conflict about what to do, about what to think, uh, perform better. And here's the clincher, even when the people dissenting are wrong. So you hear this a lot. This is kind of a variation of the smartest person in the room argument. I don't need to include other thinkers because I know I'm right. I mean, you know, we have a really good method and we've been right every time. And so, you know, and we're right again. So why do I need to slow us down by including these the different views? And, uh, but the, when I know they're wrong, but the research shows that even when they're wrong, having the centers creates a better outcome. So what's going on there? What's what's happening? And in a group setting, you know, you all would be throwing out ideas and you might want to pause the tape now and you all might discuss what's the dynamic that leads to better outcomes even when the dissenters are wrong. Well, the dynamic is that by having people in the room with different opinions, it makes everybody work harder. It makes everybody research that much harder and it leads therefore to more complete answers and better outcomes. Me preparing for this little video is an example of it. So I always assume when I get the make the business case for diversity question that I'm going to be dealing with people in the room who are skeptical or uh, if not antagonistic toward the idea of enforcing diversity in intelligence teams. And so I worked a little harder to get ready for this presentation than I did for some of the others. I actually reviewed a lot of the articles that I have saved uh, over the years on this issue. And so I myself am an example of, even, even though I'm right on this issue, thinking that I'm going to face opposition on it makes me work a little bit harder. There's a really, uh, I think, the best article that at least I've saved uh, on this issue and on, on the value of diversity in teams is by uh, Dr. Catherine Phillips. It was published in two places in the 2014, 2015 timeframe in the proceedings, I believe in the proceedings of the National Academies of Sciences. And, and I'm, I'm sure of this in Scientific American. And if you can get a hold of that article, I think it's, um, uh, you know, makes a wonderful case for the importance of diversity in knowledge teams. One of the really interesting aspects of diversity is that if you have different points of view on a team, you have, you generate what is called diversity tension. And most teams and most managers are ill-suited to deal with diversity tension. In fact, there's an argument to be made that diversity in teams has could have an even greater impact and even greater benefit on the outcomes. But because most teams don't handle the tension associated with diversity very well, the positive effects of diversity are muted. And I, I kind of believe that's, that's the case. So um, managers, for example, aren't, are, you know, and getting back to organizations value smoothness, managers really aren't taught 
I think, and at least to my knowledge, how to deal with vibrant differences of opinion in their teams. They're taught more, you know, you've got so much time and you've got to execute the mission and get it done as efficiently as possible. In the short term, there's no getting around it. Having vibrant debate in the team um, slows down your process a little bit. You know, let me tell you, I know I managed the team in the 1980s where we were all about uh, friendly disagreement. And it was painful sometimes to allow the process to play itself out. But I think by allowing it to play itself out, we got a better product. So what can you do to, uh, as a, just as a practitioner to promote diversity? Well, one is you have to be inclusive. You know, the, the famous Google research on teams shows that the best teams are cognitively diverse and psychologically safe. So if you're the majority person on that team, if you represent the uniformity that diversity is trying to penetrate, you need to behave in a way that can be seen as welcoming by those who have different opinions, even as a practitioner. So for example, when you're inviting uh, comments from your colleagues, do you wait until you're almost done before you ask for the comments? Well, you're indicating that you know, you don't really want the comments. Hey, I only have two hours until I have to turn it in, but what do you think? That's not very welcoming, particularly if someone has a significantly different view. So invite people, invite the whole team to be part of your thinking process from the very beginning. And then use better questions when you ask people for their views. The any comments is just so tired and such a pointless question to ask. You can ask really direct questions like, how would you have written this differently? Or what did I miss? Or tell me the one thing that you think I got wrong in this paper. And even if someone comes back to you and says, hey, I think your analysis is fantastic. I wouldn't change a thing. Challenge them and go, okay, I, I hear you saying that, but, uh, and I know you like it and that's great, but what's the one part of my analysis that you like less, right? So find a way to be, to indicate, to signal that you welcome disagreement with your views. And that way you will really harvest the benefits of diversity on intelligence teams. Thanks.